when they come in, the first thing we want to think about is, can we accurately diagnose this patient? And we want to think in the three-dimensional approach that we think in, you know, what blood vessels are involved, what parts of the body are involved, what is what we're getting from the history in terms of activities of daily living, the impact on these patients or their family. And all of this is really important to us in terms of trying to figure out what our management is going to be. So truly this is holistic, not in the sense of complementary and alternative holistic medicine, but in the sense of really trying to put the big picture together to figure out where to go next. And in terms of management, we think about are there specific treatments we can do? Can we cure patients, which does happen, although I would say it's the minority of patients that we actually can cure supportive management, and education, education, education. We really like the family to go away with information, to be armed with information. And nowadays, with our electronic health record, we want them to have information that they can then go to an ER if they end up in trouble. And if they call everything a hemangioma, at least they have a piece of paper that tells them what their actual diagnosis is. So this is an example of a case. And now we're going to transition into showing you just a few kind of illustrative examples. This is a three-year-old child. She has an extensive venous malformation of her left lower extremity. You can see from the photographs that it involves the entire left leg, that it's extensively involved in the um, post uh, popliteal fossa area, as well as a lot of involvement on the foot. And uh, so what, what do we want to do at this point? Well, we know that it looks on the surface like there's a lot there. But the most important thing to do now is to get MR imaging to try and determine whether we're dealing with just a surface problem or something that goes a little deeper. So you can see that the left leg's a little bit bigger than the right. You have these venous blebs on the foot behind the knee. But you really get an appreciation of this. And it was difficult for me to fit this all in one slide the extent of the disease here. We call this, even with that large leg, that represents the tip of the iceberg. You can see all the way down from the left half of the abdomen and pelvis to the tip of the toes, there's disease. There's burden throughout. It involves the muscle. It involves the bone. It's everywhere. So what are you going to do for this child? Well, one of the things that you have to determine with this is there's not going to be a surgery or some sort of intervention that I can do that's going to cure this child. Perhaps there are targeted areas uh, if, uh, of pain or of bleeding that, that I could treat. But it would be a mistake, given this, to undertake a long series of therapies aimed at trying to cure this child because you're not going to do that. We call that a long run for a short slide. And this is where our team comes into play because we can show the patient and the family these images and explain to them the depth of this and go into a lengthy education process about what this is going to mean for the child in the future. And I think one of the things that we've learned um, is, to, is to show families these images and to say, you know, and even I as a dermatologist can do this, you know, this is the normal leg, this is the abnormal leg, all that white stuff is, are all these dilated veins. And you can understand, looking at this as a family, that, that we can't just cut this out. And I think that's a very powerful, it's very difficult, but it's, a, it's, it's very powerful. And we try and do it in a way where we don't take away hope, because we have things we can do. These children will characteristically, almost invariably, have a chronic coagulopathy. And by treating that coagulopathy, you can relieve a lot of their pain. You can try and work on getting compression garments that will help the venous hypertension to some degree. But you're really dealing with something at this point where there are no other kind of medical therapies. So our concept here is to really try and give families information, try and help to normalize their lives as much as we can, and hope that we have better therapies in the future.